Hello world, it's Siraj, and what you're seeing here is a live demo of movement transfer. Whenever I move my wrist, an armband captures my movement data, and another armband uses electrical stimulation to replicate that exact movement in someone else, involuntarily. Imagine if we could capture the movements or skills of a professional pianist in real time, convert them into data using this sensing device, and then stimulate the muscles of a beginner to play just as well as a professional. I got to see this technology during NTT's R&D forum in Tokyo, Japan last week. NTT is a global technology company and it was a breathtaking experience. In this video, I'm gonna explain some of the most striking technologies I saw from the conference, as well as my overall experience in Japan. Tokyo is such a clean, polite, and futuristic city that readily embraces AI and robotics. I was super impressed by that. And there's so much we can learn from the Japanese. On the first day of the forum, I got to meet Suzumi. Suzumi is NTT's debut large language model, named after the traditional Japanese hand drum. This AI is a 7 billion parameter language model that is best in class at the Japanese language. It can run on a single GPU or CPU, and it's right around the size of Meta's Llama 2. There's no API or source code available yet, but what I enjoyed the most about Suzumi was when it was embodied inside of a humanoid robot. The idea is that the LLM is asked to perform a task like wash the dishes that it then summarizes and breaks down into smaller steps. Then it creates a set of movement commands to be executed both serially and in parallel. One thing I found particularly interesting was how they don't believe in using one giant foundational model for everything, but rather a constellation of smaller models all working on individual tasks being orchestrated to work together through a high-speed communication network. And they've been working on a high-speed network called the All Photonics Network. Photonic devices are components that can create, manipulate, or detect light using photons like lasers, LEDs, even semiconductor chips. The advantage of photonics stems from light being able to travel faster than electricity and across greater distances without losing signal strength. This network is designed to achieve three main performance targets, low power consumption, high quality and capacity, and minimal delay, basically the opposite of Comcast. Advancements in optical arithmetic like optical pass gates and optical transistors have significantly improved chip performance, enabling calculations with minimal delay. For instance, optical waveguides, which guide light, are fabricated on silicon wafers alongside electronic circuits. And they're not just using photonics for hardware, they're using it for software too. They built a computer called LA Solve, which is an optical icing machine. It's named after the icing model in physics. In physics, the icing model is a mathematical model of ferromagnetism in statistical mechanics. It consists of discrete variables called spins, which can be in one of two states, plus one or minus one. These spins are arranged on a lattice and they interact with their neighbors. The goal is to find the lowest energy state of the system, which depends on the orientation of these spins. Now, translating this into an optical icing machine, instead of using magnetic spins, this machine uses light to represent these spin states. Suzumi, I feel you, but can you feel me? Photonically 6G across the sea from San Francisco to Tokyo, decode me. When you input a problem into an optical icing machine, it essentially sets up an optical network that represents the problem's landscape. The machine then uses light to explore this landscape, looking for the configuration that corresponds to the lowest energy state or the optimal solution. This process involves a lot of parallel processing, something that light and optics are really good at, which allows the machine to evaluate many possible solutions simultaneously. This kind of approach is particularly effective for optimization problems where you're trying to find the best solution out of many possibilities, such as minimizing energy consumption in a network, optimizing routes for logistics, or even solving complex financial models. NTT also showed me a suite of technologies known as the Human Augmentation Platform, which aims to enhance human abilities by first remotely transmitting physical strength, such as grip and arm strength, it's a step towards an era where skills can be downloaded. Combat training. Jiu-jitsu. I'm going to learn jiu-jitsu. 6G will enable ultra-fast data communication with a delay of just one millisecond, facilitating instantaneous, real-time transmission of skills. I love Japanese culture, and maybe I can build a robot of my own in my next video. But for now, I've got to go check in on my pal, Sam Altman. So thanks for watching.